Hey everyone, welcome to my video. If you like it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for me. Hit that notification bell. You are very appreciated. God bless you. I hope you have a beautiful day. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Adventures of the Oklahoma Grunt Man. It's about uh, 6.20 in the morning. Uh, just getting ready to head up to the farmer's market and get set up. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful day today. It's supposed to be like 74, 75 degrees and sunny. So hopefully we'll get a lot of people to turn out to the farmer's market. But I just wanted to welcome you and hope that God blesses you with a beautiful Saturday and weekend. Uh, so I'm going to go up and get set up and I got to make a video for the giveaway that I'm doing. So I'll take you all along for the ride today and God bless you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, comment. I always enjoy the comments and we'll talk to you later. God bless. Hey everybody, I'm just about set up here at the farmer's market. I'm going to do my video on the contest right away here shortly. But yeah, I'm just about set up. And sun's coming up. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful morning. Uh, so I'm going to get the contest video put together here quick and get it posted so hope you guys enter it and we'll talk to you later god bless hey everybody i'm all set up now out here at the farmer's market uh i'm the first one here so far but everybody should be showing up here shortly uh it's gonna be a gorgeous day it's so nice out here right now just sitting here relaxing waiting for the farmers market to officially open and I have a feeling there'll be a lot of people out and about today I'm hoping so anyway and uh, just want to remind everybody I'm going to be doing my second live video next Tuesday the I'm not sure of the date whatever next Tuesday is at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope you all can check in on that. Uh, I just kind of want to keep in touch with everybody that has subscribed since the last time I've done one. I think the last time I've done one, I was just a little over 100 subscribers. And now I'm almost at 1,500, thanks to you guys. And i not quite to 2,000 watch hours so i got 2000 more watch hours to get yet so if you guys can help me out there go watch my older videos and watch them completely to the end uh if you can do that for me i'd appreciate it uh you know, like i say the only reason i'd kind of like to get monetized is i'm not make, looking to make a living at doing this but if i can uh, start earning some money to do more content it uh it'll just be more fun and i get better better content for you guys to watch and a little bit about my channel i don't really edit out a lot i uh i video my daily life and the, the way i am so what you see on here is what you get uh i hope you you guys enjoy them uh, I try to keep them interesting, but yeah, this is my farmer's market items. Uh, as the summer goes on, I'll usually have more here. But uh, right now, we're just getting 
started this is only our second week so I want to wait until the people know that we're out here and doing this so anyway God bless and we'll talk to you later hey everybody for lunch today I'm having uh, fish sticks a slice of cheese and a few waffle fries just got home and got everything put away from the farmers market and just gonna have a little lunch here. Talk to you later. Hey everybody, I hope you're enjoying your Saturday. Hope God's blessing you with a beautiful day. I'm just sitting out here on the front porch. It's just absolutely gorgeous here today. I got home from the farmer's market a little while ago, got the car all unloaded, everything put away. Just ate a little lunch, and now I'm sitting out here with my dog, Dakota, just enjoying a beautiful day. Uh, had a very good farmer's market. It was, a, it was a very good day today there. Uh, don't forget to go check out the video that I posted earlier this morning with the giveaway. I'm giving away one of my homemade barbecue sauce or different jellies, all free postage paid. I'll pay the shipping anywhere here in the United States. Uh, I can't afford to ship overseas. But yeah, go check that video out. All you got to do to enter is if you're not subscribed yet, just subscribe to my channel, hit the like and share and comment. I want to win. And that's all it is. And then a week from today, I put everybody's name in the in the hat and draw a name out. And then I'll contact you. I'll leave a message on the post that you are the winner. And then I'll have you email me, and we'll get everything taken together, all the put together, and I'll ship it off to you in the mail. Uh, just my way to give back a little bit that you guys supported me. Uh, I'm so blessed to have you all follow along on my channel because <laughs> I'm not nothing special. I'm just just who I am, and uh, I'm having fun with this YouTube thing, and I enjoy sharing, uh, basically sharing my life with you guys. Uh, like I say, I, I don't do anything too exciting, but I uh, hope I'm putting out good content. So anyway, yeah, go check that video out, and we'll talk to you later. God bless. Remember, treat everyone the way you want to be treated. Make the world a better place. Hey, everybody. How are you doing? The, uh, <laughs> what the hell's just better and better i i don't understand why the people of otter creek still have to put up with a person like russell meeks uh i just i just don't understand how how a person like that can try to be in charge when he don't want to do his job well who's going to enforce that well russell you are the leader of your town, you enforce it. That's why you're paid as a mayor. Uh, I, I don't understand it. Who's going to make me clean it up? I ain't going to clean it up. You can't make me. Well, Russell, yeah, people can make you. I, I, I just don't understand the logic. You know, it, it's been done that way for years. Well, that don't make it right. I mean, just because it's done that way for years don't mean you can't make it the right way. Uh, I just don't understand logic like that. I I uh, don't understand it. I'm going to be 65 years old, and I would never want to live like that. Uh, I'm not saying I got a perfect yard and maintain, but I do take a little pride in my, my yard and my home. Uh, it's... Uh, just crazy that people want to live in filth and trash and 
rats and bugs and I, I don't I don't like snakes and I don't like rats and I, I don't want to live like that. So just take a little pride, clean it up. I, I don't understand it. But anyway, I just wanted to get your guys' opinion, give my comment. Uh, I, I just am stuck on this story of what the hail's down there in Florida. And I uh, can't believe that. Well, I can believe it because when I lived in Missouri, there were some people there that literally would just open their back door and throw their trash out in the backyard. So there are people, it's not just in Otter Creek, Florida. It happens a lot of different places. Uh, so, yeah. I, but, yeah, even the small town like Otter Creek, it don't take much to enforce the code. I mean, if you're going to have codes on the books, it's kind of like I said the other day with with the gun control laws. You know, nobody wants to, to follow the or people don't care about the gun control laws, you know, evil is evil. And I guess backwards is backwards. I, I, I don't want to get in the whole rant about gun control because that'll take me off a whole nother, another avenue. So, but yeah, I just don't understand. And 90% of it down there, I would almost bet if somebody would just go knock on their door from the city and say, hey, we need to clean your mess up, it would happen. Uh, I'm sure there's some people that wouldn't do it. They'll just refuse to do it. But, and, and I'm sure it's down there, it's everywhere. Some people just don't have the ability to clean it up. So, hey, organize a, a citywide cleanup thing or a townwide cleanup and get volunteers to go help people. It's it's not really difficult. Uh, just help each other. Don't fight each other. Help each other. And uh, I've always felt that way. That's just, you know, uh, I, I'm, like I say, I'm on a fixed income and I've helped people even financially as much as I can. Of course, I, I can't, uh, just throw throw money at people, but if I have an extra five bucks and somebody's out of gas or whatever, hey, if five dollars one way or another, if I have to give up something for a month, I'll do it. It's not that big a deal. If if I can help somebody, God will return it back to me in in the long run. So it's it's just I don't understand people's logic and. Everybody gets too independent, I guess. But anyway, that's my rant on the what the hell story. Uh, let me know your comments. Uh, but like I say, I just don't know why Russell Meeks is even even involved in city business down there or town business because he's so backwards and to the left of things that he don't even belong in power. And I'm with Jeremy and George all the way. Let's do the things the right way. Well, even now I see on back when his daughter was against everything that Russell's for today. So, yeah, what what changed there? Why, you know, I understand you want to you want to support and love your dad, but when he's doing wrong, either get him to change or change it yourself because uh, <laughs> You know, wrong is wrong no matter what. Even if it's somebody in your family doing it. Uh, I I know when I grew up, my dad told me, if you get into trouble, you're going to get yourself out of trouble. Uh, he goes, just do the right thing. And that stuck with me for the year through my life. Uh, I'm not saying I was a perfect kid, but I uh, I knew better. I knew right from wrong. And when I felt I was getting to that, uh, let's do this right instead of, okay, let's run to the wrong and just do it anyway. And, you know, I, I guess that's just the way I was raised. Uh, 
if if we got into trouble at home, we got ourselves out of trouble. And it, even the minor stuff, uh, my dad wasn't mean by any means. But if if we had a a whooping on the hind end coming, he had no trouble doing it. <laughs> and and it made me who I am today. I mean, I wasn't like I say a perfect kid and and when my dad said don't go play on the train tracks and he caught us out on the train tracks, yeah, guess what? <laughs> I got a whooping all the way home with a willow branch. So I learned, hey, don't go play on the railroad tracks and the railroad trestle. So anyway, God bless you guys. Uh, hope you're having a beautiful day. And we'll talk to you later. Just let me know what you think about the what the hell situation. And God bless. More of the roses opened up today. They're just so pretty. They're not real big, but they're so pretty. Hey everybody, come, decided to come out and eat out tonight at Brahms here in Woodward, Oklahoma. Uh, didn't have anything thought out at home to make and I didn't feel like cooking, so I come out here to Brahms for dinner. I ordered the chicken dinner here at Brahms. Wow, a lot of, a lot of food. You get all this and the drink, $9.07, that's a pretty good deal. I got the chicken dinner here, with, and it comes with everything here. It's nice big chicken strips, well worth the money to come here to Brahms. Hey everybody, just wrapping up my vlog for the day. Uh, just uh, had, had a very productive and very beautiful day. Uh, God bless me with another gorgeous day here in Northwest Oklahoma. I got my uh, giveaway video up, so make sure you go check that out. Uh, all you got to do to enter is, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel and comment, I want to win. And... It's, it's not a big giveaway, but it's all I can really afford at this time. So go check that out. Uh, I definitely appreciate it. Uh, I, I'm just overtaken by all the support you guys have shown me. Uh, I'm almost at 1,500 subscribers now. I'm about halfway there on the hours watched on my videos. So you guys have been definitely helping out on that. Uh, I got one video that's a little short clip of, it's almost at 123,000 views. So that's just unreal. I would have never expected that. But anyway, it's all because of you guys and you're very appreciated. I love every one of you. Uh, you guys make this fun for me. I enjoy the comments. Uh, 99% of them are positive and, and great comments. And of course, there's always a few people out there that want to be negative, but that's their choice. Uh, I just choose to be positive in the world and stay away from the negativity. Uh, life's too short to go through, through it in negativity and misery. I would sooner be happy and, and enjoying life it's, it's short enough the way it is. So anyway, I just wanted to touch base with you and end my vlog today on a good note. And remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell for me. Uh, share it with all your friends and see if they would be interested in tagging along with me here in good old Northwest Oklahoma. Uh, Tomorrow's going to be a church day. I don't know what I'll get done for a vlog, but I'll think of something. Probably won't be very long, but uh, the farmer's market was good today. So anyway, I'm going to get off here. Remember, like I always say, treat everybody the way you want to be treated, and the world will be a better place. And 
I wholeheartedly believe that. So God bless you. Uh, hope you have a beautiful Saturday evening. I hope the good Lord blessed you with a beautiful Saturday like it was here in Oklahoma. Uh, and if anybody's going through troubles, just remember, put God in your heart and give all your troubles to him. I did that and it helped me tremendously. So anyway, God bless. Good night. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel. God bless you. Have a great day.